Capricorn. You will be immersed in setting up your career, so you may need to more focus on your life. Being a Capricorn, your love life is ruled by the moon. So, the love life will start developing after April after the solar eclipse. Moreover, Venus, the planet for love, will retrograde from July to September. If you are on the verge of breaking up, you must be very careful this year. Being a Capricorn, you are very stubborn, but if you want a good relationship, you should be flexible. Please control the possessive nature, as everyone has their limitations. Singles will get opportunities to mingle, and such opportunities will come by the early part of this year. Still, you can trust people you meet in meetups. Everyone has vested interests and that may only be known for some. So, don't take any risks in the relationships. Moreover, you should not take any risk when Jupiter and nodes aspects the seventh house of relationships. Neither Jupiter nor nodes represent love. They represent spirituality and divinity. You need to think twice before getting into any serious commitments as well. During May, Venus will be moving in a slowdown mode through the house of relationships. This will be a complex time for your relationships. You may meet your ex-lovers, but you must think twice before rekindling your relationship. There will be some communication or emotional issues in the relationships as well. The first half of the year will be challenging for everyone as the planets are rapidly changing their sign and course of transit. Disagreements will be a signature in 2023, so the couples should be flexible. April to May will be ideal for singles to meet like-minded people. During this time, they will attend some parties, and they will be able to meet someone they like. Since Venus does retrograde from July to September, there are better times to get into any commitments. If you were dating much before, you can give promises or enter a relationship during Venus retrogression. Otherwise, you must wait until Venus goes straight. Aquarius Saturn is aspecting the house of relationships, so you should follow a truthful path in the relationship. Saturn doesn't indicate anything connected with love or romance. It has a tough nature as it is the planet for karma and justice. You should do justice to your relationship. This is a good time to improve it. Still, the chances for arguments do exist. If you work hard in the relationship, surely progress can come up. July to September will be crucial for all the signs as the indicator of love, Venus will be in a slowdown mode. Venus rules your personal life also, so there are chances for arguments regarding your love life at home. Sun and Saturn will have a mutual influence by June, which is seen as low energy. The Sun and Saturn are archenemies in the zodiac, they have the biggest enmity with each other. When they have a mutual aspect, you may argue with your spouse. You may have to take the help of elders. Those people who are in a relationship must take care of it. This is a very sensitive time, try to avoid giving commitments during this phase. You can wait until Venus stops its slowdown journey. Altogether, this year will provide you with many opportunities to grow as a mature person. May, June and July will be good for singles as they will get many opportunities to meet like-minded people. August to September will not be ideal for married couples as they will have arguments. Most of the arguments will be based on finances and credibility. They should be faithful to each other to improve the relationship. Pisces Being a Pisces native your house of love is ruled by Mercury. Mercury will be in retrogression every quarter. You must avoid all kinds of arguments in the relationship during the Mercury retrogression phase. Singles must be careful with their relationship, as the planet which indicates the relationship is in the house of challenges. You should not be quick to start a relationship. The existing relationship will have to go through an acid test. Still, this is a good time for a retrospect regarding your relationships. During March, you will have to be ready for some compromises in the relationships. Saturn, the planet of structuring and discipline, will start its slowdown mode during that time. There will be some opportunities during the month for relationships. Venus, the planet, will be starting its slowdown mode from July to September, so these months may be complex for your love life. June, July and August will be highly complex for singles. 
you will get opportunities for networking during these months, but you should not get into any serious relationships. Please do not misuse anyone for your comfort. You must be very cautious regarding your love life as it rules the house for emotions and volatility. This move will bring your past love interests to you but think twice before you entertain them again. Among you, if anyone has a slowdown Venus in their birth chart, you may have more feelings to restart the relationship, but there will be some hurdles. So, you need to be watchful. For Pisces, Venus is not a positive planet as it rules the sectors for challenges. So, during the slowdown phase of Venus, you will have a lot of stress regarding various things, and relationships may be at the top of that list. The solar transit over Virgo in August can give you some relationship challenges. The sun is not an ideal planet to be in that house. So, you need to take care more during that month. 